Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to be transforming myself into a pride-inspired look. Now, I feel that I do a lot of looks that are always pride-driven because it's about ownership and um, claiming space. But this is going to be pretty spot on and I'm going to attempt a rainbow makeup look. So let's see what we can do today. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, do a brow cover, which I do for all of my full-on drag looks. We're gonna use a little powder to set the brow. And we're going to use the foundation on this brow now. And there's really no right or wrong way to approach makeup. You will pick up a trick that works for you. I'm gonna use every liner that I have to get this look. There's, it's not gonna be brand focused. It's pretty much what I have available. I think yellow will be the center point of both. So it's only going to be a subtle little line. So I'm going to use a chromographic pencil. The first one was chromographic primary yellow. And this is going to be chromographic landscape green. And this is a MAC color. I'm going to mirror the shade. And I'm just mapping out the shape. It's complicated. This is the truth. I'll draw the line out. I'm just carrying the blue. And I'm going to just bring that tonality that's consistent through the panel of the eye. Pretty. So this is a Kat Von D. Um, the twist up, it's a, it's a lip liner. It's called a go, go But we're using it as an eyeliner. Make sure that the color from before doesn't get mixed in there, like there's some green on the liner. It'll fuck up the whole look. And this is a nice true red. And if it doesn't look like pride, it'll look like a macaw. Like you'll be a beautiful parrot. I'm feeling already so proud. This is doing something for me. It's like color therapy. Just gonna take the colors on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna load that brush up and blend out the gradation using a, each color as I go along. So I'm mirroring the shadow concept that will be happening here. Somehow I'm supposed to be a magician and gradate all these colors. So we're gonna start with yellow and a tiny little brush. This is a Ben Nye brush, FDB-3. Does it matter? Yes, it does. It's a YouTube video. And we're going to just take a Rocky Cosette yellow shadow.
All right, I'm gonna do something kind of slightly ambitious. Um, and I'm doing it before the foundation so I don't ruin the all over look. I don't want a heavy glitter look, but I do want some light on this section of the eye. Okay, we're going to use a little bit of hairspray, probably not the best idea I've ever had, right over the eye. And that, and that, and timing. We're gonna put um, a star powder and kind of a gold undertone on the left eye with the warmer shades, and I did a cool pink on the cooler eye side. I right. All right, now we're gonna put on our foundation and we're gonna get our skin looking beautiful. Okay, we're gonna use a little color corrector. This is a Danessa Merrick's product. I've been loving its Vision Cream Cover and the number TP02, it's an orange corrector. Uh, keeping the quantity of this product low, I'm gonna use a beauty blender to buff it out. You just wanna put this where you are seeing a little blue undertone. Makeup Forever HD Foundation in Y245. And I'm using the foundation brush by my Kitco in 0.7. Big giant blending brush. I'm gonna start where I need it most, which is to cover up the color correction. I love using the Beauty Blender for foundation because it gets the weight of the foundation down and it also makes it look perfect on top of all the pores. It, liter it literally pushes it right into the skin texture and evens everything out. So it looks more like skin and less like foundation. Cosmetic triangle, a sponge, and we're gonna add a little powder down the center. Bake that highlight. We're just gonna kick that powder into the highlight. And this is ColourPop Lunch Money in the Super Shock Cheek. Really great texture on this highlighter. Been using it a lot as a base for my powder highlighter.
I'll be back, the wig, and a final look. Pride is a great moment for us to realize what we've overcome and how wonderful life can be. Because it's not always easy, and we're always faced with limit, but as a group and as a community, always overcome hand in hand. So stick to your allies and stick to your girlfriends and your best friends and your moms and aunties and uncles and all the ones that are close and that believe in who you are as a person because you can live your life happily and we don't have to do it alone. So I hope this video brought you some sparks of rainbow light and know that you are loved and I'm thinking about you. Big kisses.